Good morning, happy campers. Wendy's log, August 9th. All right, so let me talk about yesterday, August 8th. Not sure if I did a log. Almost positive I didn't do a log. Um, so I didn't go to work, um, but I did get up early and text my boss, told her I wasn't coming to work. And uh, then I slept a little more. Then I got up, still not, you know, all up to snuff. Went and got my oil changed, threw on some clothes, went over to the lo local establishment that serves coffee, and uh, wrote some, worked there for a while, wrote some more, wrote some more, <coughs> came home, Wait, did I do anything in the middle? Oh, yeah, I went to Costco because Dan asked me for more coffee. I uh, came home, finished my research paper, made a presentation, locked the grandkids out of the bedroom, and recorded my presentation, uploaded everything, boing, bang, boing, done. <laughs> How many times have I said that? I'm done. Done. Yeah. But... So now I'm on my way to work. Tuesday, woo! It's me day. I get to be a teacher today. I kind of really like that. I'm really thinking that when I retire, that I'm gonna keep off the year. Maybe I'll travel in the RV for a year and then rehire. What do you think? Retire, rehire. Woohoo! Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So life is always in flux. We'll see how things end up. But all I can say is that, you know, relationships, not mine. I'm not talking about mine right now. I think that the young people today have such a challenge with relationships because I think that they have been raised with media and now with social media, which um, is not always honest. And so I think that they have been raised to tell people what they want to hear rather than the honest truth. Um, because that's what I believe social media teaches them. Just saying. Uh, I think social media... My thing is up pretty far. Who drove my car? Oh, it's not. It's all the way down. Um, Social media, I believe, doesn't allow people to put on a true face. It allows them to put on a fake face. Like, this is my real face. <laughs> Driving to work is my real face. And so I think that um, sometimes social media gives the um, appearance that everything in life sh is going to be easy and everything in life comes easy. And uh, I, I think that's a downfall. And, and I hope that the generations behind us figure that one out. Uh, I hear many people say, well, you know, I saw my parents work hard and, and what did they end up or what did they get for it? They just worked hard. And yeah, I, I do think that you have to work hard because I think working hard allows you to develop the true you. Um, it does show you what you like and what you don't like. Um, and only if you become trapped in what you don't like is working hard um, not a, a, a good thing. But, I mean, and I think about it now because I started working in the tobacco fields when I was 13. I don't think that they would allow kids to do that now. It was hard work. It wasn't easy work. But we did it. Uh, there's many things that are hard work and and I think that maybe kids that um, are in athletics maybe they learn a little bit about hard work maybe they learn a lot about hard work but I still think that some of them are only doing the hard work because they think there's going to be uh, fame fortune and it's going to be their way of life and I'm not really sure that that's really uh, the benefit of hard work. Anyway, so that's my thought today about social media. I'm not, not to say that I don't like social media because there are several people that I follow on YouTube all the time. Um, I follow Justin Rhodes. 
I love watching his family. They work hard. They work hard. Um, I, I follow, um, I'll, I'll get them all wrong. So someday I'll tell you all the people that I follow. I follow Chris and G. Uh, I love to watch Chris and G get out there and uh, watch their travels and where they go. But uh, I believe that they work hard in order to make a living to be able to do what they want to do. And I, I think that's the thing is that if, if you find your niche and you're able to live the life that you want by working at your niche, um, I don't believe that anybody uh, works for free. Uh, Nomadic Fanatic. I follow his videos. And I believe that he puts together his videos in a way that he works hard so that he can do what he wants to do. Um, the Freedom Theory. I follow them. Same thing. Um, you can constantly see them saying, okay, well, we have to find a place that has um, a good Wi-Fi connection because... Uh, Josh has to work and Josh they took part of their RV and that became Josh's office so that Josh could work and uh, So I I think that you can find a way to live the life that you want to live If you find your niche and you're able to provide for yourself, but to think that you don't have to do anything Is where the problem comes in and that honesty thing it's not easy to be honest. It's hard to be honest. Because sometimes you're gonna hurt your hurt other people's feelings. Sometimes you're gonna be hurt by the situation. But to be honest is, I think, uh, the missing link in, in many people. Um, so anyway, it's Tuesday, I get to teach today. And uh, I hope it goes as well as it did last week. I'm thinking it will. Oh, directional was still on. I could hear it. I go over railroad tracks right there. Can you see me leaning forward like I'm trying to get closer? Uh, I lean forward because those railroad tracks are horrible. I actually, uh, the place that I get my hair done is right here at this stop sign that I'm going to stop at. And the last time I was in there a couple weeks ago, we were talking about um, this road out here. And they were saying that um, some want that railroad track, that whole section of road closed. That would be, that would be annoying to me because it's right up the way that I go and I would have to turn the corner and go a different way, but oh well, it's just a simple thing. All right, it's 713. When I hit the highway, I'm gonna hit the speed. So I'm gonna say goodbye. Have a great day. Mwah. Live honestly. That'll be my saying today, live honestly. Bye.